Hello fellow road trippers, so glad to have you here. So for this video I want to show you a place that I booked at Airbnb and stayed just recently last weekend and it's the tiny house. I have watched the show, it's called Tiny House Nation on Netflix. I'm sure many of you have seen it and I love the concept of a tiny home where it can be moved, it has the wheels but it's mainly stationary in one place. And I was extremely excited when I saw an Airbnb not very far from me so the location of this tiny house is Wow Bao Xin. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, but this is basically not far from Toronto. It's about an hour and a half of drive. It's sort of where Port Severn is. And what is amazing about this tiny home is that it's very eco-friendly, meaning that the water, for example, that they have in this house, it, they actually reuse it for plants. So they basically use biodegradable soap for everything in the house, which is what they ask for guests to do as well. So here's the outside. There's a bit of a the loungy area. There's some gorgeous indigenous artwork on the wall over here that I thought was a very nice touch. So now let's go inside and see what happens inside. To enter the house, you do not need to get anybody involved. You just get a password and you go in. Over here, there is kind of like the control room, all of the temperatures, there's the AC and I'm sure there's heating. The house is very modern, clearly very new. This is very cool table, so only half of it was down, but we didn't really even need all of it. I guess the both sides you would put down for maybe if you have some kind of party happening, but really for two people, only half of it was enough. There is a bit of a sitting area over there, and of course the bedroom is upstairs. So you use the ladder and you go upstairs. The bedroom is actually very nice. It's pretty tall. I was afraid it was going to be very short, but it also has this beautiful skylight that you can even further make taller. And there's a mesh so that bugs do not get in, but you can have like a little bit of a extension of the space above you. I was worried that it would be very kind of like boxed, but it did not feel boxed at all. It, you had plenty of space and you could easily sit down on the bed. This is just looking down, so very narrow and very tall. Honestly, at no point did I feel like it was tiny to the point that it felt uncomfortably tiny. It was perfect size for, I think, two people very easily. So over here there's a fridge, a set of knives, the kind of ventilation system and the light over there above the stove. Everything works, had to try. So this is the gas stove and it's very small. We didn't actually use it, but it, I'm sure it works. Over here, two large sinks and a large window so that you again have this like spatially, it opens up the space, I feel. Another room over there, I did not go up there. It's a little smaller than the bedroom. It's not the same size. It's maybe for kids' room. Loved the detailing over here, kind of like the vintage, rusty uh, loft style of the shelving. Very cool. So there's microwave kettle, there's a toaster, basically everything really you need. I was very surprised that pretty much everything was in here, other than maybe the TV. It would have been nice to have the TV. Over here is a trash can, it slides out. In this other section, there's a first aid kit and the and fire extinguisher. I just love all these little kind of <laughs> spaces over here, those candles, and how it's uh, it fits so much in such little space. Over here, there's a sugar, pepper, tea, soaps, different kind of bowls. Even more bowls, so lots of space, honestly, lots of space for the kitchen. Over here you have the shoes kind of racks. Uh, I'm sure you can put doors if you want to. Over here there's a chair space that's foldable chair. This is kind of like the wardrobe area.
So now let's go into the bathroom. The bathroom is small, but for sure all of the functionality is there. So this is kind of like shelving unit. It uh, goes up, I think. The very tiny sink, but it of course does its job. The bathroom is very interesting. So there are a bunch of instructions. This is the incinerator bathroom. I'm probably not saying it right, but the idea is that it burns all of your business. <laughs> so what you need to do is you need to put that little piece of paper, kind of like the bag into the toilet. So I'm just gonna demonstrate. I did not use the bathroom, I'm just demonstrating. And you put it in there, you do your business, and then you need to, first you need to actually, there's a pedal, I think I'm gonna show it right now, there's a pedal at the bottom over there, so you need to press the pedal and then you push that little button. So over here you can see that uh, there is a bit of the flame coming out, you probably shouldn't do what I just did, but I just wanted to show you what happens. The shower is again state of the art, very beautiful, even has the temperature on it. And the soaps are over here. They're all biodegradable, as I mentioned, because the water is reused. Over here in the bathroom, there's more storage space. Again, very roomy, love this. So just going outside, in conclusion, kind of showing you what else is out there. There's a bit of a kind of a garden. There is uh, the firewood so that you can have a bit of a fire and the barbecue. There are chickens over there, but they are behind the fence, so you can't really go in there, but it's still nice to see some animals. And a tiny little pond. The pond had a few frogs, which was pretty hilarious because they would make quite the sounds during the night and the day. And that concludes this Airbnb tour. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna put down below the link to this place. I highly recommend it. There's not a lot of options right now because I think it's full up until August 2021. But I'm sure if you're watching this after, you can book it next year or whatnot. And of course, please subscribe, like, and share to this channel for more videos such as these. Thank you so much. Bye.